So the heater broke my uh, ghetto fabulous whatchamacallit oil burner heater that fucking tree fell on it oh well it was a hassle to run um, I'll probably revive it from the dead what I did now was probably what I should have done from the get go this little $16 countertop stove burner works great as a heat source put it on my uh, special little canister that has a uh, fitting you know uh, to copper coil that I made by getting ghetto fabulous with a coffee can thing and uh, some JB weld essentially just a heat exchanger but it's working quite well can't quite see any distillation going on at the moment, but it was roaring quite a bit. We might be, uh, there's a little bit. There's a little more. Yeah, there it goes. It's, it's coming along, but a little earlier it was just almost flowing like a water fountain, but you can see it's, it's dripping. Maybe I could see, get, get a shot of it actually flowing. It's just drips at a time right now, but it goes in spurts. But that's all pure methanol being distilled with a lot less sound and smoke than the uh, oil burner made. I guess I'll go ahead and uh, let companies centrifuge that oil and reuse it or, or people want to burn it as diesel. For now I'm going to do biodiesel since it's the green hippie thing to do. Anyways, here's proof that uh, you can actually distill methanol out of your glycerin pretty uh, pretty cheaply on a budget.